All right, good morning, boys and girls. We're going to talk about synonyms and antonyms. You may remember these phrases before, and if you're not sure, I'll go ahead and give you the definition. Synonyms is a word that has a similar meaning or definition. I'm going to give you some examples. Pretty much think of synonym as the same. If I take a walk, another word that has a similar definition would be maybe a stroll. Bravery. If someone shows bravery, they're also showing courage. Those are very similar meanings or definitions. I can go out and eat, but a good synonym would be I'm going to go out and definitely have a big munch. Again, similar meanings. It's showing that I'm eating, but instead of using the word eat, I can use the word munch. I did a drawing, or maybe I did a sketch, or I'm sketching. Similar meanings or definitions. They are almost the same. Last example before we go to antonyms. If I see something, maybe I can observe something. This is a, a very good synonym that'll help you in your writing. Instead of seeing something, maybe the character or you observed something. And that'll help you with good word choice and, and using some wow words in your writing. I'm going to flip this guy over. And let's talk about antonyms. Antonyms is a word that has an opposite meaning or definition. So think of if synonyms are the same, antonyms are going to be the opposite. I think of ants as something that I don't want to be around. So it's the opposite. I want to go away from it. <laughs> let's do a couple of examples. If something is clean, well, the opposite or the antonym of clean is dirty. You may have saw a sneak peek of this one, but if something is poor, or if a character, let's say, was poor, then magically, maybe later in the story, he becomes rich. Opposite. Poor to rich. Another example. Expensive or cheap. The shoes can be really expensive, or the shoes can be really cheap. Those are antonyms. They are opposites. This is a pretty obvious one. Something can be flat, like this desk, or something can be round, like a basketball or a wall ball. Those are antonyms, opposite meanings. Lastly, and I know my little uh, paper cut it off, this says hungry. And the opposite or the antonym of hungry is full. That's where we all want to get to. So, boys and girls, here is your skill, synonyms and antonyms. Be aware of these as you do your writing and as we explore unit one, week one. Synonyms, a word that has a similar meaning or definition. And antonyms is a word that has the opposite meaning or definition. Thank you for listening. I'll catch you later.